What are some? I, I have some other gaming channels that I, I think. Oh uh, yeah, I got some gaming channels as well. Uh, uh, I, I know that you watch Dark Main as well. I think Dark Main's really funny. Yeah, really good comedic delivery. Like uh, jo- jokes. He's literally the definition of jokes that aren't funny, but right. when you deliver them well, they're just so fucking hilarious. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so funny, and uh, I met him once. I don't think he remembers because very briefly, but he was super. He was the exact same as mm. his videos. Yeah. Mm. Um. He does mainly. He he blew up with Lee content, but he does general gaming stuff as well. Right. Yeah. Just a really odd guy. Yeah. Just really it funny. Is, is he exactly like he is in his videos? When I met him, he seemed like that. Like, okay. I, I so. He That's does, always endearing. Isn't yeah, it? he yeah. does like a very like what's it like dry delivery of like yeah. unfunny jokes. Sometimes funny jokes, you know. Yeah. But either way, it's always funny. Right, right. And I met him in real life, and uh, he was wearing like he was dressed up as Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> and he had like purple because he's purple. Right, That's, like, right, right, right. He, was, right. he had like a glove on, and I met yeah. him, and he for some reason he just like completely unrelated was like I'm Thanos, and I was like, oh. <laughs> I see that. I Sick. I was like, yeah, okay, nice. And I was like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I met his friend, uh, Red Ride as well. He's a really funny dude, mm, really right. nice guy. Uh, makes great content. Um, I think also, oh, who will come? Yeah, one of my favorite uh, gaming content creators is Corey Gaming. About the fighting game stuff. Yeah, about like the fighting game. game. Like oh, he, he yeah. does some of the best analytical content on YouTube, in mm. my opinion, because his, his content is all about fighting games, but he breaks it down in a way that's so Normies. general mm. that anyone that one makes you fucking interested in fighting games, even though I have zero interest in fighting <laughs> games. You know what I mean? I have zero interest, <laughs> zero knowledge about fighting games. I come out of a Corey gaming video. I'm like, yeah, you know. You are, fr- you are the type of dude who sees like a how-to tutorial and like how to start fishing. Gant's like buying a rod on Amazon, <laughs> like that is so gone. Gone gets in. Got like you watch the the AlphaGo documentary, right? Yeah, yeah. And like the next week after Gone watched this documentary about Go, was like, I want to buy a Go ball. Let's, <laughs> let's play Go. Like, go is <laughs> close, <laughs> fuck. No, because because I, I the, like my one niche is watching videos I have zero interest in. I like that. But, watch, that too. but like yeah. watch, watching like watching a watching a, ba- a content creator basically be able to break it down in a way that makes me interested in it. That's, That's true. That is that is my niche and in interest, yeah. and that is that is what I want to do with like. Anime to like with my own content. Yeah. Yeah. And that's like the content creator I respect. So like with Core A Gaming, he like breaks down fighting games on like, I think like a social level. He goes into like the psychology mm-hmm. of oh, why, wow. Of why people act the way they do in fighting games, like right. he uh, like what some. I, I honestly, I think like every video he's done is a banger when it's like an, an analysis video. Okay, but he he literally like breaks down the psychology of what goes into like the fighting game community. Mm. Why salt in the fighting game community is like I such a big thing, <laughs> and it's and he he also has like some really interesting stories in between all of this analysis. And right, it's just right. it's just like the complete package. Mm. It's everything you want in an analytical video, but just it's just fighting games. But you have to, you can have zero interest in fighting games and you can appreciate what he does because mm. a lot of his analysis can be applied to pretty much just life in general. Right, right, like right. he he like there's a lot of like he ends a lot of his videos with like a with, with like a nice little message, you know mm. what I mean? Um, which can be applied to a lot of things like in life. Something you can take away. Yeah, yeah, I exactly. I need to watch more of his stuff because I, I don't think I'm sub, but. Yeah, I'm yeah. check him out. Um, I think another, a few other gaming channels I like, uh, obviously Little Curbs, who does the oh, Mario yeah. speedruns. Yep. He did yeah. the, the best shit post of all time. Cause yep. obviously Donkey, which we all like. Everyone, yeah. Everyone loves Donkey. Is that Dunkey. the guy who does the Bowser's big yeah, green so, burrito? So Donkey did like the whole joke in his Mario Maker video. If you yeah. guys don't know Donkey, I mean, you should know Donkey's at the biggest gaming channel. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he did a video where he like made his own level and got the world record on it and was like bragging about it. Yeah. And then obviously Donkey makes so many excuses in his videos when he can't beat a Mario yeah. Maker level. Like, oh, you know, my little brother was playing. Yeah. Or I was playing with a USB steering yeah. wheel. I was, I was blindfolded. Yeah. yeah. So this this YouTube creator, Little Curbs, who also is just a god at, at Mario, like yeah. an absolute god who gets like the world record on everything. Yeah. Like, I think he's won like every Nintendo speedrun competition yeah. on Mario Maker. Yeah. Right. He did a video where he obviously did, did <laughs> Donkey's course blindfolded with a steering, steering wheel. wheel. It's so fucking good. Like I love that I, level of I shit couldn't posting. Fu- it was it was such an amazing shit post. But there's also so like good. a second layer of enjoyment actually yeah. seeing him do it. Like he's actually insane. He's like, an actual yeah. fucking god. It's, at it. it's it's shit posting has gotten to the point where you need to be like the shit posting itself is just your pure skill. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. <laughs> it's insane. It's so good. And also other gaming creators that I like. I don't know if you've seen Nitro Rad. He just just like. Fl- I know the name. I it's like 30 minute name. like essays on gaming. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, it's like that warm feeling of like watching YouTube in 2014. Just right, right, right. Cozied up, you know, just yeah. watching someone talk about video games. Really like just, just passionate. Like, yeah. I don't think, I think uh, there's nothing that's like, oh my God, he's hilarious. Or like, there's nothing that's like mega, like, whoa, he's super unique. Just all yeah. around, just 
just a great package. Right, yeah. right. Super such a nice guy and just seems really into it and really loves his gaming uh, uh, stuff. That's always the best. Yeah. Isn't yeah. It? One, one, one gaming YouTuber I yeah. like, uh, like I kind of respect for a different reason right. is uh, Relaxalax. Mm. Um, hmm. Just because like I, I got into him because he did this like amazing analytical video on Persona 5. Yeah. Right. And like, I respect him because his editing is fucking next level. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, it's so bittersweet watching a dude who is like n relatively not that big on the YouTube sphere, mm. who can just fucking crank out like just these incredibly well edited videos, right? I mean, like mm. the whole reason why like, you know, our editor mood on like mm. uh, the reason why I got into his stuff is because that dude's editing on his videos yeah, is insane. fucking next yeah. level, right? And it's just like, I don't know, I respect him as a YouTuber and as someone who edits like mm. videos and whatnot. Yeah. And I'm just like, <coughs> if, if anything, I've gotten a lot of like good editing ideas, like yeah. creative ideas from yeah. his videos being like, yeah. oh, Oh shit, I never thought to I, do something like that. Oh, that's pretty cool. I felt yeah. bad for the dude. I think he got in a bit of drama. Yeah, he did, well. didn't he? And uh, I think he was like, I mean, I, I I don't know what was, you know, right and wrong, but yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that he was uploading a lot of videos about it to his channel. And I was like, dude, I don't think you should upload this many videos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I think yeah. he uploaded like two videos in the space of a week about it. And I was like, no, don't do this, man. Like, uh, Just like, double down, dude. We've yeah. established, just double down. <laughs> I do want to also mention that, um, if we did recommend any YouTubers that turn out to have done some fucked up stuff. Uh, yeah, we, we don't know that. We're just recommended yeah. based on purely content. Yeah. We're separating and the creators from the creation as much as possible. And yeah. also we don't follow everything going yeah, on. I, with I everything. mean, a lot of these dudes, I we just watch and like the content. We don't keep up with what they do in their personal life. Whatever yeah. they do, that's on them. But like, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure one of these creators that you mentioned is gonna be like, they they, they murdered someone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they they so, touched a kid or yeah, something. Exactly, right. Because right. obviously like, when you know, PewDiePie recommended YouTubers, he got in shit for that. Yeah, but, right. I mean, but. Yeah, I want to make that known that yeah. like, any creators that we recommend, please don't witch hunt us for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Also, finally, one I have one last gaming creator that I, I want to recommend. Uh, so I've been watching this guy for like forever. Mm. He's called like Kadikarus, and he did like his whole thing way back was that he used to do just PS One game reviews, mm -hmm. right? And it was kind of sad because I felt like he'd stagnated for a long time just doing PS One, PS Two games, and it was kind of like all right, mm. nice, and he wasn't really growing much. Mm. And then I'd say like last year, he really turned it around and started doing some really damn good videos, like insane amounts of effort, like right, right. hour long videos about like skateboarding games. Mm. And he's just really upped it. And like the amount of edits in this dude's videos are insane. Yeah. Uh, and just, he's, he's broadening out a lot more and he's just making some really good shit right now. So if you like That's gaming good. content and also he's British and it feels sometimes like his jokes are like British kids TV show. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> it's weird because like you can like how see- how so? <laughs> Very stupid right. and very like, I don't know, very crackheady. Right. Uh, and, and it feels very childish at times, right. but it's just, it's good. And you know, you, if you're a 12 year old, you can enjoy it. And yeah. if you're yeah. a 24 year old like I am, you can still enjoy yeah. it. And it's a bit yeah. silly, but it's it's, Are we talking like poo poo pee pee levels of jokes? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. Okay, I, I, I dig for that, I fuck I with that. It was, yeah. it was just like, it's yeah. just nice. Like you said earlier, it's nice seeing a creator just step it up and like yeah. really like, I just want to give credit where credit's due. And uh, it's especially nice to see a creator step up when they haven't made like 70 stagnating. update videos yeah. about yeah, them yeah, exactly. leveling up, right? It's exactly. like, just, just level up. Yeah, It's hard, right? When you're a creator, when you're stagnating, I've been there. Like, mm, yep. It's really hard to just be like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put all this effort in. Yeah. I'm gonna take a risk. It might not work try out. Try something yeah. new and, it see if it works, and like, yeah. you know, most of the time it doesn't work out, but you have to keep it up. You mm. have to keep taking those risks yep. to get those yeah. rewards. Yep. And it's nice seeing, cause I can relate someone who's stuck in doing fucking Black Butler for yeah. like two Cause, years. Cause like, <laughs> I can really relate to getting out of it. And I really want to give credit where credit's due. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I think, I feel like there is a space for update videos, but at the end of the day, the audience, like for the most part, don't really give a shit. You know what I mean? No. If you're going to drop something big, then just drop something big. Yeah, if you're yeah. not, then you're like, you, what what you can convey in an update video can be conveyed within your next project. Yeah. Right, you know right. I mean? Unless it's gonna be like, I'm gonna be away for like a fucking month or two, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And that's, just, at this point, that's just like calling in sick for your, for your boss, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, right gang, I'm not gonna be uploading for a month, just uh, calling in sick. Yeah. yeah.